And I would say there's none of the excitement that we've seen in previous elections, for example. Certainly the one that took place right after the revolution. But on one side, there's indifference. There's also more of a quiet support for this new draft constitution by a lot of ordinary people, working class people. And then there's real concern, um, alarm, um, by a whole other chunk of Tunisians. Um, many of them are perhaps better educated. Nobody says that, you know, they've had a, a fantastic decade since the revolution. But some are extremely worried about what this constitution, if it's passed, could deliver. For those of us on the outside, Tunisia, we can say, led the way for this um, mass movement for democracy. Why are people now concerned? It's true. I mean, from the outside, Tunisia was, you know, sort of this amazing, you know, surprising sort of initial uh, success story in some ways um, for this Arab Spring. It certainly was the country that ignited this broader popular movement for change, for an end of strongman rule and just a change in more democracy. And it was after this large uprising in 2011, Tunisians got together, they drafted an initial constitution that got a lot of input. But the problem broadly is is that these democratic gains that they fought for did not translate into real bread and butter gains. People's lives have gotten worse. Unemployment is higher. People are poorer. They are having a hard time in some cases affording food. Sometimes there's no basics on the shelves, especially if you are coming from modest means. So these democratic, you know, aspirations, yes, they have free speech, but they can't pay their bills. And that is a real issue. Lisa, given what you just said, what do you think will be the turnout in today's referendum? Well, here's the thing. Uh, What's happening, and I know you know we have uh, a new, a fairly new president, since 2019, he's quite divisive, but he's gotten support. A lot of people think the turnout will be low. I don't know, but I will say one thing. When I talk to people on the street, you know, again, this cadre of activists, students, etc., are going to boycott it first because they think that it is just so off the track of democracy. It would be an insult even to go to a voting booth and vote. Others may vote no. But then there's going to be quite a few people who are going to vote yes. A lot of people think there will be a low turnout, but we don't know yet. It might surprise us. But the broader sense is that one way or the other, the draft constitution will likely pass. We will see.